Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are oatmeal rolls or oatmeal buns. Now, I first want to give you the recipe for the dough. I did make it in my bread maker, uh, which is a larger capacity. Uh, this one does go up to two pounds because there's a lot of flour in this uh, recipe besides uh, the oatmeal. So you do need, you know, uh, a, a larger maker. And I, uh, of course, made the dough on the um, on the dough cycle. Okay. So I'm going to start give you the recipe and all the uh, ingredients and directions will be below the video. You're going to need two cups of oatmeal, two to three. Uh, I'm sorry, two thirds cup of brown sugar. You're going to need a quarter cup of butter and uh, very soft, or I like to melt mine and then cool it. One tablespoon of salt, three cups of uh, water uh, that I put in the microwave. Uh, you'll want it to be at least 110 to 115 Fahrenheit. You're going to need two packages of active dry yeast, which is one quarter ounce each. You're also going to be needing five and a half cups. I use bread flour. If you don't have bread flour or you don't like bread flour, then go ahead and use all-purpose flour. But I find the rolls come up. Um, I think they're lighter. Uh, they're fluffier with the bread flour. Uh, and uh, that, that's the recipe. Follow, though, the directions on your machine as far as when to put the ingredients in and all makers are different so let me take out the uh, dough to show you what it looks like and I'm just going to put a little flour on my countertop now when it does come out this dough will be quite sticky so you know you got to be a little patient with it uh, but you don't want to use too much dough uh, do uh, I'm sorry, flour on the dough, <laughs> uh, but you want to be able to work with it, of course. Now, this is half of the dough. I cut it in half, okay, and uh, so this is a half of it. You're going to get a really nice, large um, dough out of this, okay? Now, what I also like to do is I like to measure my rolls so that they come out exactly the same size. That'll be up to you. I usually make this particular roll in four ounces, okay? So I'm going to put my scale on, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. All right. And I'm just going to cut a piece of dough, put it on my scale, and it came up exactly four ounces, okay? So again, just go ahead and cut them. Now, I generally get um, 16 rolls out of this recipe, making them four ounces, uh, as you just saw me do. Uh, but it'll be up to you how large or small or how many you want to get out of this recipe. Now, once you get, and that was four ounces, what I like to do is I actually just pinch it all together like this on the bottom of the roll, like that, if you can see that, and then I just press it in, then I just form it with my hands, and then I roll it between the palms. Now, you might have your own method for shaping uh, the roll. Um, but So, you know, whatever do you want to do, of course, is going to be best. And, it, you know, they come out quite, quite nice, okay? So, and then you're going to need, of course, a cookie sheet. So I heavily grease mine. Uh, you can grease it whatever you want or use parchment paper. And um, let's just do one more, okay? So I'm just waiting on my scale here. Okay. Okay, now that's a little bit large, so I'm going to just take a little off of that. Okay, and that's four ounces. Okay.
So once again, like I said, I, I just sort of flatten, it, flatten them out a little bit. I tend to just bring all the ends in underneath, almost to like a little point there. Then I press it in, need just a little flower. And then I finish by rolling it in my hand so it comes out to be a nice round shape. Okay? And you don't want to put them too close together because they're going to expand. Now, what else I like to do is I take an egg wash. Now you can do this after they've risen or before as I am. So I just beat one egg and then up just brush it on with a pastry brush. And then I take a little bit of oatmeal and I just sprinkle that on top like that. Okay, now once you have them all cut and rolled nicely, put a clean uh, kitchen towel, of course, or plastic wrap over them till they're double in size. Now they might take half hour, they might take 45 minutes, they might take an hour to rise. It really depends on the temperature of your kitchen. So, uh, but you do want them to be double in size, so you want to uh, cover, cover them up, okay? I'm just gonna set this dough aside here for the moment. I'm gonna quickly wash my hands here and rinse them. Because I want to show you what these rolls look like once they have uh, baked up. And this is how they turn out. They are absolutely beautiful rolls. Now you can see the nice golden top with the uh, oatmeal that I put on, um, put on the top as I just showed you. They have a nice brown bottom to them just so pretty and they bake up so nice and tall especially because of the bread flour now let's cut into one okay so i want to grab my knife here and let me just cut on this on the towel here okay they have a beautiful crumb to them you'll see the oatmeal in there and extremely very, very light and delicate. They're not real heavy. A lot of people think if you know you're baking with oatmeal, they're going to be very dense and they're going to be heavy, heavy bread. But to the contrary, the crumb on this is oh, it, it's just so light. You can I don't know if you can see it flaking away as I'm um, trying to show you here with the end of my knife. But, oh, they are just delicious rolls. They're not a real hard, crisp roll. Um, but they are just fantastic um, warm uh, with butter or jam. They taste delicious, like uh, cold. It, they really just bake up just beautifully, and they really are great tasting oatmeal rolls. Well, there you have it. I want to thank you for watching. Diane Love to Bake. Please subscribe to my channel. And a quick reminder that you'll find only my videos on YouTube. Oh, and also, if you try this recipe and you like these rolls, we'll leave a comment because I always like to hear from you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I almost forgot. On baking, they can take you anywhere from 20 minutes to 25 minutes, again, depending on your oven. I'm glad I remembered that. Again, thanks a lot. See you next time.